I'm Buffer, and welcome to my channel. Last week, I did a video on Playa del Carmen, Mexico. It was titled, Playa del Carmen Almost Made Me Gay. Now, of course, I was joking, but judging by the comments, it obviously went over some people's heads. But anyway, this week, I am in Key West, Florida, and it is the kickoff of the Conk Republic Days. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna raise this flag in celebration of the 41st anniversary of P's succession from the United States. Now this came about due to a protest. They had put up a border checkpoint in Key Largo in 1982 and the cars backed up for dozens and dozens of miles and it had a huge impact on the tourism industry here. So the mayor at the time, decided, let's succeed from the United States. And it worked. It was a ceremonial protest, but it worked. The border patrol, it was all lifted. And each year it is celebrated with a ton of festivities. And we're here for the kickoff. Well, I ain't no saint. I'll admit that's true. I'm always late and moody too. She sticks around through thick and thin. She puts up with my crap time and time again. The Conk Republic Navy has showed up. I would think they'd have a boat, but maybe they have a boat. I don't know. But this, there's a military presence. Definitely don't want to get in a tussle with the Conk Republic with a military of this magnitude. Okay, that was the jester's fart. Now, I will, uh, let's see if we can get a, let's see if we can get a good. Well, there you have it. The opening ceremonies are complete. Now, now it's time to have some fun. So yeah. let's head on back into the town. Let's get ourselves some cool, refreshing drinks and start partying for the next, I don't know, as long as we're here. This looks like a bar, Alan, if you don't mind. I'd like to get myself a cocktail. Looks like a place to get. I want a celebratory Conk Republic Days cocktail. All right, the celebration has been canceled. The mojitos here are $16, so I don't need to spend $16 on a mojito. A lot of head statues. Also, draft beers, $16. That's nonsense. Look at all these chickens. The past leaders and men. Ernest Hemingway, look at this. Here we have Ellen Russell Mallory. So this is, must be who Mallory Square is named after. And I just found my favorite, favorite Key West hero, Sandy Cornish. He was alive from 1793 to 1869, and he was a freed slave. And he actually paid tens of thousands of dollars equivalent at the time to get in the Florida because blacks were not allowed to enter Florida, believe it or not. So he paid all this money, got in. His wife, who was free her entire life, actually became a slave to get in. You had The only blacks that could come into Florida were slaves. And he did, came down here, he was free, had his papers, but they burnt in a fire. And so these men were like, we're gonna capture Sandy, and we're gonna take him to New Orleans, and we're gonna sell him. And he cut his hamstring. Just like, hey, look, I'm damaged goods, cut his hamstring. Then he cut off his pinky finger, put it in his mouth, and pretended to smoke it like a cigar. And I mean, if you're that, if you're that freaking gangster, like who's gonna try and get you? Conk Republic Days is a big event for the locals. And it's obviously being done on a slow week. I haven't seen any cruise ships here. It's a very, very nice vibe in the city. It's a place I usually don't like because it's crowded. There's a lot of nonsense going on, a lot of tourists, which I am. A nice chill vibe going on right now. And you can see Alan enjoying himself up ahead. His first visit to Key West. Think of like, I who I just ran into here at Schooner Wharf Bar. Oh, can't see me here. I haven't seen you since what, Columbia? Oh, yeah. Wow, long time to see. Good to see you, Slugger. 
Nice to see you, champ. Savannah, ladies and gentlemen. So parking in the Keys is um, a little difficult. I thought I was in a good spot, but then I came back and I have this sign on my car, so I moved it. Heading back to Schooner Wharf, Schooner Wharf Bar, and I'm not gonna lie, I've had some, I've had some drinks. I've had way too much to drink. We're gonna power through. We have people on bicycles enjoying themselves. Look how much fun they're having. An amazing time. I'm almost getting sick of good times. <laughs> having a good time all day, every day, it gets kind of hard. I feel like if anyone is suited for this assignment, for this task in life, it would be me. We are leaving the Schooner Wharf Bar. They're on their own pace here in the Keys, which is expected. It's beautiful. Ow! of waiting. Why would you rush <laughs> if this is where you lived? We've heard of a cocktail bar that is where the real celebration for Conk Republic Days is happening. So we're going to make our way over there. Alan <laughs> is leading the way. He's ready. He's ready to have some fun. I hear, I hear the cock shell, conch, cock shells. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the streets are very nice. It's very peaceful. It's very safe. And still, we are following out. Alan. Alan's a local now. Got here a couple days ago, first time. Now he lives here. Got a job as a fisherman today. <laughs> he's, he's completely reinventing himself and becoming a Call member life. of the Conk Republic. <laughs> he heard he heard the reading of the Constitution. <laughs> and I turned my back. And he's and like, oh. it flipped it flipped his it flipped his life upside down. Mike a 180. Drop, as one would say. That's the it. mic drop. <laughs> the mic drop. I'm gonna be a fisher. I was born to fish. <laughs> I fished a couple times. <laughs> You're not cutting your finger off and smoking it like cigars, and dude, you're not as hard. So there's food stalls. There's anything you can want here. There's so much going on. This uh, every bar has live music in it. This is a famous sloppy Joe's bar, which was named by Ernest Hemingway. His friend Joe opened a bar. He's like, what do we call it? He's like, sloppy Joe's. So it's been here forever. Definitely a big tourist destination, but it's worth it. It's fun. Let's continue. Oh, high five! Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah man. Fuck yeah. You almost knocked me over with your high five. That's a big dude. I know, the weight of the high five. He just got denied by a bigger dude, and it was a whole ordeal. He's like, was that rude? I'm like, oh, God, you're big. I don't know. <laughs> I'm no trumper, but it is fun. Are you sure you're not a trumper? I'm definitely not a trumper. You never know. It's the ones you least six packs. <laughs> you never know. The best hot dogs in all of Key West right here. This is the number one hot dog stand. We're working our way to um, drag show. Drag queens, where all the drag queens are. They had to completely twist my arm to make it happen, but I agreed. Like, all right, I'll go. I'll go check it out. It's not my speed. It's not what I want to do on a Friday evening, or is it? I don't know. It's all complete nonsense to me. Well, that sounds terrible. All right, we're not going upstairs. We 
because the show just ended. Go upstairs. And it's uh, there's 20 another, bucks. There's another show in one hour that's $20 to see men dressed as women. I feel like I didn't see that for free. I don't want to hear gypsies, tramps, and thieves one more time in my <laughs> sung by a man. And what is your name? Hi, Marilyn Daniels. Marilyn, I'm Buffer. I'm Buffer. Very nice. I'm making a documentary about how fucking awesome Key West is. Thank you. And how yes. beautiful the people are, the res especially the residents, like everyone that lives here, and how you should come here and immerse yourself yes. in the Key West culture. Yes. It is absolutely it is. Buffer. Buffer. Nice to meet you guys. Melbourne. Big coffee. Big coffee. That's where all the good shrimp come from, they say. That's where all the good girls come from. It is. Yes. You're gorgeous. I kept going up and I would kept that's why you do the bubbles. If you're smart, you always do the bubbles. But your CSA, if I'm you just telling you how it works. No, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm just Good morning. It's day two of Conk Republic Days. And the festivities are already started. Here we are, we have arrived at the southernmost point of the continental US. And as you can see, there's a lot of people standing in line waiting to get that photo in front of this piling, whatever it is, I don't know. I'm not one to wait in lines for a photo. So I'm just gonna walk right up and point the camera at strangers. We have seen the southernmost point. There you go. And now we are heading back. Parking is difficult. It took us about 30 minutes to find a spot. It's a lot of activity. And the big one is going to be the drag, ra drag racing. And it's uh, drag queens Shit. in high heels Shit. doing a foot race down to Ball Street. So we're going to sightsee for a bit. And we'll end up there later. There's several buildings on the property. There's a gift shop. There's the gardens as well. What? $18. So here we are outside Ernest Hemingway's house, one of the top attractions here in Key West. Admission is $18. And uh, that's uh, quite a price to pay. So I'm going to just put my camera over the fence for a second. I get you the free, the free look. <laughs> Ruby. I actually have no All right, you guys ready? Oh, yeah, I've been thinking of that. All right, it's a pleasure. Cheers, buddy. Ooh, that's a big one. I like it. I give away free liquor all the time. We are about to go watch the drag races. You can feel the excitement in the air. You know something good is about to go down right here. This is the main strip of the Ball Street where the drag races are going to happen. And we have many spectators waiting in a fevered anticipation for the event that's about to go down. So, let's sit back, let's have a drink, 
and we'll come back and enjoy this. I like how the drag kick queens don't actually race. They have men in speedo. They're pushed along. They're pushed along by... Ah, look at it oh, coming up. And here we go now. I feel like I'd be a really good cart boy. Ah, chop. I want a shot. What do you use? Grab one? Yeah. Free shots. This might be it. I think Key West may have won. Where's my, where the fuck's my car, man? Do you see it? Anyway. Key West, Conk, Republic Days. Highly recommend.